So I'm walking around my shop the other day and I kind of realized something. I was kind of messing around with the CNC and trying some new cuts, some new techniques, some double-sided carvings, things like that. And it kind of dawned on me. I've seen a lot of people asking like, what's the most important thing you do on your CNC? What's the most important change, upgrade, whatever that I've done to my CNC. And honestly, probably the most important thing I've done to it is add something that honestly was free because I use scrap. I, I It's amazing to me. I, I never thought about it till maybe just a couple of days ago. Uh, that being said, this right here is probably the most important addition to this machine that I have done. Um, it's, it's really strange. I never thought that doing a simple plywood square, pretty much, or straight edge, would be that important. Um, but it is, and it's kind of crazy that now I can't see running my machine without that. Now there's other ways to do it. You can use dowels or dogs or whatever. It just depends on the bed of your machine, but I don't know, it's, it's weird. I, I just never thought about it before. So I just wanted to mention it in a quick video because I get asked a lot like on CNC stuff, what to add to a CNC? Should you look at getting a rotary attachment or a, uh, I don't know, you know, a, a fourth axis, a, a adding a vacuum table, anything like that. And, and to me, those are all great options, but something simple like this can make your life a whole lot easier. So I just kind of wanted to go over that and now I'm going to show a couple of things that you can do with it. Um, I might not make too many cuts, but I just kind of want to explain why it's so important that a free attachment that you can make yourself with the CNC is so important to the CNC. So it's just something I was thinking about and it's kind of interesting. So this is my square edge. Now, one thing I really want to show is this is just a, exactly like I said, a square edge. This is out of three quarter inch plywood and it's cut at a perfect square. And then I cut a recession into the corner to allow the corner of pieces I'm working with to set flush and into that square. So the, the really, really nice thing about this, and like I said, I'm not gonna do too much cutting on this because if you own a CNC, you get the idea of reference points. So let me uh, grab the camera here. And if you have a CNC, you know exactly what I'm talking about saying that finding this corner can be one of the, the most important things on a project. And something I figured out over time of having this I2R8 is that if you have a designated point that the machine can home to. So if I take my machine and home on my machine, and my computer has went wonky, so give me one second. If, if I were to home my machine, this would come back to a stationary spot each time. So this is UCCNC, and as you can see, this will control the machine. So what I wanna do is bring up my z-axis just so i can show you guys that the whole idea of having a stationary point is that the center of your bit goes to the exact same spot every time so what we're going to do is go back to uc cnc going to go up here and just to speed this process up a little bit i'm going to jog the machine closer to the home position it doesn't matter where you're at on the machine none of that matters the whole idea is that your home position is repeatable. So there is just a random spot on the machine. And if I go here and go to home all, as you can see, the machine will automatically home itself. 
There is the X axis. There is the Y axis. It had already done the Z axis as I moved the camera. It just lifts up to the point. So why is this so important? The whole idea is that now if I were to move the bit down, let me get it a little brighter here. As you can see, the bit is perfectly aligned with this corner. So if you're asking why that matters on CNC projects, if you're doing anything such as 3D carving, um, double-sided cuts, really anything. If, if you're doing multiple cuts on one piece, so let's say you're doing, um, say like I did some keychains here a little bit back, where it would cut a circle into the wood and v-carve a logo or whatever into it and then have to go back and cut that perimeter you need to be able to access the exact same position every single time something happens if you have to uh, change bits if say you accidentally hit a limit switch or something like that and it stops your machine you need to be able to go back so that's why i say this right here this crazy little straight edge it's probably the most important accessory on my i2r8 and that's not because it is expensive or difficult or high tech it's just simply that doing something similar to this will give you an exact reference every single time all you have to do is make sure you have square edges so this is just a quick video i wanted to talk about this a little bit because i've been asked some about how a reference from my machine I do everything from this corner in vCarve you can set it up that way I'll go into more on that when I do some vCarve tutorials but that's pretty much it um, you know it, it's nothing really crazy and like I said I made this thing out of scrap so if you have a piece of scrap plywood laying around um, anything really MDF plywood you just want it sturdy enough that it doesn't flex and I do recommend wood, um, just because as you can see here, you're gonna hit it some. So, yeah, that, that to me is the most important add-on to my CNC. So, just a really quick video. I know it's nothing really crazy, but I've been asked about it, so I thought you guys might wanna know. Also, just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. It's been a crazy long road, and there's a lot, lot, lot more to come. Um, I'm really wanting to start cranking out the content, so that's in the works. So if you guys like everything, if you want more CNC tips and epoxy tips and things like that, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're interested in doing CNC work, I have a link in the description that takes you to the I2R CNC website. And you can check those guys out. And if you use a code that I have linked in the description, that I have down in the description, it can save you 200 bucks off that machine. So go check it out. Go buy. Really shows your support for me and let those guys know I'm a valuable partner. So I really appreciate everything, guys. And I'm going to get back to work. So you can see I got a little bit going on. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Later.